before they picked me up and trained me and gave me the skills. And many more young politicians, not all of them actually end up going into parliament and taking those political positions, but some of them go into business and, uh, and becoming women of purpose in the community. So this Imara Women's Centre is very, very important because it's broadened the scope and it's giving a home for the women in Uganda. And for me, I'm very excited because, as you know, the population of women in Uganda is growing and the challenges that uh, women keep on facing in this country is still huge. Uh, so we are hoping that within five years we will have built the centre, but also to emphasise that it is phased. So we will, uh, our first phase will enable us to get the shell and uh, a, a ground floor and a first floor, which would then enable us to occupy the space. In some of the districts where we work, uh, and, and once again this is because of a constraint of the kind of funding that we get, we are only able to reach few communities. We are only able to reach a few women. So you go to a district and in the district you're in one sub-county and even in the sub-county you're going to a few parishes. If we had more money, the work that we do around building women's leadership, around sexual and gender-based violence and raising awareness and getting duty bearers to play their roles more effectively, the work we do around skilling women so that they're able to get more money into their pockets will be enlarged and therefore will be reaching out to more women more women will be benefiting and so I think this is something that all women should see as beneficial to them because it will change the lives of women and girls.